Well, I'm here in Steveston, uh, which is part of Richmond. It used to be its own little town. And this is the uh, Gulf of Georgia Cannery. It was uh, built in the, in the late 19th century, 1890, something like that. And it's, um, it's a historic site. So uh, you just come in, wander around. It's uh, quite reasonable. It was like $12 to come in. Kids are under 17 are free. And uh, they have a discount for seniors. So um, really reasonable. It's a cool old building and uh, great displays and stuff. And it uh, looks good. You can see behind me the uh, the boats would come up to this little dock here and they'd unload the fish and they'd bring them in. The fish would come in here. Well, what a great little glimpse into the 1940s fish processing uh, and before. Uh, this, this cannery has been here for uh, over 100 years and um, it, it's great that they've saved it. It's a, it's a fascinating kind of place to come and look around. So I'm over on the herring side of the plant. Uh, there's lots of machines over here for uh, processing herring into oil, which they used in the agricultural industry. This plant behind me uh, with all this machinery, this was uh, acquired by Parks Canada in 1984, but the plant actually shut down in 1979. And uh, according to the sign over there, um, when it shut down, they just turned off the machines and left. So all these machines were full of fish, like herring and stuff. And um, Parks Canada came in and, and cleaned all that out. Uh, you can imagine what five-year-old herring was like sitting in these machines, but... Uh, it's all gone now.
Well, I guess that's the Gulf of Georgia cannery. It's, uh, it's super interesting. I just uh, really like the history of it all. It's uh, the history of BC and so important to, to this part of the country uh, fishing has been. Um, what a great little place. And uh, you know, they got a little gift shop. Uh, the price to get in was reasonable. And um, it's been a lot of fun looking around.